Yo, what's up guys, Old School Dan here, and in this video, we're gonna talk about why dumbbell curls are way much better than barber curls. All right, so cue the intro. All right, so what's better, dumbbell curls or barber curls? I say dumbbell curls, why? Rich Park said if he had a chance to choose between barbells and dumbbells, he would choose dumbbells every time. Also, Frank Zane said you could shake the whole entire body with just dumbbells themselves. He actually prefers dumbbells over barbells as well. Even Steve Reeves preferred the dumbbell curl over the barbell curl, but why? Well, it has to do with isolation. Well, and range of motion, but mostly range of motion. Because, see the barbell curl, when you curl it up, you curl up here, and then you bring it down, and it slams on your pelvis. It slams on your pelvis. With a dumbbell curl, it doesn't do that. You can go like this all the way up and then back and then nothing slams and the range of motion is there compared to the the um, barbell curl. I bet this is clicking to you. I bet this is making a lot of sense. You see, here's something that frustrates me a lot and people don't realize this. They don't really know this. But bodybuilding is an isolation sport. Like Frank Zane said, bodybuilding is an isolation sport. Um, even Steve Reeves, he said, why do, why do standing dumbbell presses when you can do them seated? He was always a man of like isolating the muscle. Now this is something that really gasses me up. People are always like, how come you don't deadlift? You don't squat? Dude, what they don't realize is that bodybuilding is an isolation sport. And this is some of, like, some of the greatest bodybuilders that ever lived, like Steve Reeves and Frank Zane understood this. That's kind of why Steve Reeves didn't do a lot of squatting. That's why Frank Zane didn't do a lot of deadlifting. And if he did, it was above the knees. So using dumbbells can help you further isolate your biceps because you, you can also supinate it, supinate it, and it won't slam on your pelvis when you bring the bar down. You can further isolate the muscle better like that. Better range of motion means you can better isolate the muscle, right? It's making a lot of sense. It's clicking to you. I just know it. Bonus, when you do dumbbell curls, don't do them standing. Do them seated. This is this is the way Vince Gerard preferred them, doing them. Seated, because you can further isolate the muscle, muscle. Excuse me. So you can further isolate the muscle. Like Steve Reeves said, why do standing dumbbell presses when you can do them seated and you can isolate the muscle 10 times better? Also, bonus, bonus tip number two, because I always over deliver. I just tend to just do that. Just my personality. If you have this issue, I want to show you real quick. If you have this issue, when the dumbbell... It, it could even, let me put it right here. See, when you do dumbbell curls, you go like this and then sometimes it could slam, it, sometimes it could slam on your on your thighs. So what you can do, this is something Vince Gerardo did. One leg over the other leg, that way, you see, no slamming on the hips or the thighs. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? It's clicking. No, I know it is. So, with that being said, give this video a like right now. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching. This is Old School Dan checking out. Peace.